What is going on guys, Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So you guys have heard of Kathy Wood, right? The investor that has a bunch of crazy predictions of all the stocks that she owns. Tesla's going to 5,000. Coinbase is going to 10,000. Well, I'm not sure if she actually said that, but she probably thinks Coinbase is going to 2,000. UiPath to a million bucks a share, right? So we're going to break down her top 20 stocks right now and guys obviously she's very controversial she has a lot of people that love her that hate her oh her performance has been terrible the company she's picking are not gonna pan out then we have of course the people that are essentially kathy wood disciples right so yeah there's a lot of controversy so let's see what her top 20 stocks are listen up and of course make sure to subscribe hit the like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments let's go so here we are guys and we're not going to obviously break down all 20 of these stocks in depth or else we'll be here all day and let's be honest we don't want to be here all day right so the first stock her number one stock is tesla of course ticker symbol tsla and the great thing about this website is they actually have their um estimated cost average which of course that's just an estimate we don't really know um what that is but overall tesla is the number one position right arc owns 642 million dollars of tesla stock you guys can see right here which is unbelievable and she owns it this website actually shows you in what funds she owns these stocks and you can see a lot of the top stocks that she owns they're in multiple funds you guys can see arc g arc f arc q right arc a arc w i mean geez how many funds does she have these days I'm losing track. I don't even know. But again, at number one, we have Tesla at $642 million. And guess what, guys? The average cost, and again, this is estimated. We don't know exactly what it is, but according to this website, $108.39 per share, right? So if Tesla starts getting a 108, it gets under 108 into the 80s, 90s, Arc and Kathy they're most likely red on their position, but as of now, they're still up, which is good, especially if you're an investor in her ETFs, which full disclosure, I am not. But that's number one, and we got to zip through these guys because I just realized we're going pretty slow right now. So number two, Coinbase. She owns $581 million of Coinbase stock. You guys can see right here. And the average cost estimated is $254.65 per share. So that is her number two biggest holding. And it makes sense. I mean, look, she's big on crypto, big on the future innovation, right? So Tesla number one, Coinbase number two, and number three, which I don't personally love this investment. I don't really agree with it, but it's number three. It's Roku, guys, and her average cost estimated is $243 per share, which is nuts. Um, it, what's the stock at now? Holy smokes. Is that $57? So, geez, she must be down big time on Roku. Either way, $522 million is what she has in Roku, which is a pretty penny, guys, and a company that personally I don't really see much of a huge future in. We'll see. I don't know. But number four, guys, we have Square, which she has $456 million in Square, also known as Block, of course. And the average cost estimated is $134 in this stock. So you'll notice a lot of the stocks that she's in, she's down on, guys. A lot of the stocks that she's in, she's down on. But of course, she is in this for the long term. That's what, of course, her argument is. It didn't pan out yet. A lot of these plays have not panned out yet. That's what Kathy Wood is going to say, right? So Roku is number three, blocks number four. We have UiPath at number five. You guys can see $375 million, average cost of $62 roughly. She's down on that one as well. CRISPR Therapeutics is number six, and she has $327 million in that stock and that average cost is $62. So she's down a little bit 
on CRISPR Therapeutics. Under that, which is number seven, I believe, we have Roblox, which her average cost is $58, according to this website. She has right around $300 million in the stock. So that is Roblox. Now we're getting to number eight, which is another one that I'm not loving, but whatever. Who am I to judge, right, guys? Zoom Communications. Uh, she has $293 million in that company and this is ugly man if this average cost is right $278 is her average cost and right now zoom is at $59 per share so for zoom to get back to her average cost it's gonna need to 5x think about that guys that is probably never gonna happen let's be honest I don't think that's ever gonna happen but hey I could be wrong I don't know. These average costs could be wrong as well. We don't really know, guys. But, yeah, Zoom, it's uh, it's not looking too great for Kathy Wood there, guys. That's number eight. Number nine, we have Robinhood, which I feel like this one could potentially pan out long term. Um, you know, I'm not a complete Robinhood lover or, you know, a stan, whatever you want to call it, right? But I, I do think long term in the retail community, Robinhood, it's uh, it's gonna last. So we have Robinhood, two hundred seventy one million dollars. Her average cost twenty nine dollars. Currently at seventeen dollars. So she is down a good chunk. That's number nine. Under that, I'm losing track here, guys. Uh, we have Unity. It looks like ticker symbol U. Um, she owns a whopping. $222 million, average cost of $104, and currently the stock's at $23 per share. Oof, that's not good. She's down big time. For that to get back to $104, that's going to be, she's going to need a 4X, guys, which is unbelievable. So that's number 10, Unity Technologies. Number 11, we have none other than DraftKings, which is currently at $44. Her average cost is $50. And $192 million is what she has in the stock. So that's number 11, DraftKings. Number 12 is, drumroll please, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, Palantir, guys. PLTR is the ticker. Unbelievable here. $22 is the average cost projected. And currently, it's at $2180, pretty much right at the average cost. And she has $192 million in Palantir. At number 13, guys, we have Shopify. She owns $189 million of that company. $124 is her average cost. And currently, Shopify is at $68 per share. Oof, she's down about 50% projected on that stock. But, yep, that's number 13. Number 14, we have Intellia therapeutics which you guys can see she has 163 million dollars in this stock 62 dollars is her projected average cost and it's currently at 21 dollars per share oof guys 21 dollars per share not looking great so that's 14 number five we have pager duty she owns let's see 148 million dollars of this stock, you guys can see right here, average cost projected is at about $25, and currently the stock's at $20 per share. That's number 15. Number 16, she has Beam Therapeutics, which her average cost, we don't see it here, I guess. They can't figure that one out either way. Um, $141 million she has in Beam Therapeutics. That's number 16. Number 17, we have 10X Genomics. $153 is the estimated average cost in this one. $139 million is what she has in the stock. And guess what? This stock right now is at $30 per share, guys. So another big loss on TX Genomics on paper for Kathy Wood. Teladoc is number 18, which I don't even want to know what her average cost is on Teladoc. Holy smokes, I knew it. $163 per share projected average cost on Teladoc. She has $134 million in that stock. And guess what? Teladoc is now at $13 freaking dollars per share. $13, guys. So for Teladoc to get back to $163 from $13, we're going to need essentially a 13x a 12 13x which let me tell you that's not happening in my humble opinion so she's down big time on teledoc number 18 19 is meta which 
How is Meta at 19? This should be a top five stock. Out of all these companies we've talked about, Meta is by far the most fundamentally sound. They're still growing. Profits through the roof. What is going on? Why is Meta not in the top five? It's at 19. That doesn't make sense to me, guys. Call me crazy, but that makes no sense to me. Meta is 19, and we can see here she owns, let me see, uh, ba -ba -da -ba, $128 million of Meta. Average cost 282, and right now it's at 500. All right, bravo. The first green stock we've seen here uh, in a while. Holy smokes. And I think, again, Meta should be top five, but it's not. It is what it is, whatever. And the trade desk is number 20, which her average cost is not there. That's fine. But she has $122 million of that stock. And currently the stock's at 82 bucks per share. So yeah, guys, there you have it. Kathy Wood's top 20 stocks right now in 2024. Is it pretty? It's not looking so pretty. And again, guys, this website could be a little off on the average costs. Please Please understand that, but it's got to be in the ballpark, right? We know that Kathy Wood's performance as of late has not been great. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, she's down on a lot of stocks. And again, there you have it, her top 20 stocks. So what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments at the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the Patreon as well down below to check out my private portfolio, guys. All the moves I'm making are on that Patreon, and you might as well get your seven fractional shares of the Mag7 stocks for a Moomoo -moo with a $100 deposit by using that link down below, checking out the QR code right here, or by going to StockSurfest.com slash Moomoo. -moo. Get your stocks, guys, and with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you all later.